guys I got a giant ketchup CD package and it's mainly giant because of one album but there's a tiny one and that is Red Velvet's repackaged the perfect Red Velvet title track Bad Boys so it's basically just like Bad Boys also written on pretty big letters so yeah it's matte and still has the terrible packaging but again at least the two looks together looks good together so there's that if I knew about this I might have waited with unboxing the perfect wallet because uh, then I could have done them in the same video but for some strange reason it became a fairly popular video like I don't know okay <laughs> so let's remove these from the oh, no, next wave. <laughs> when is the year when we are going to stop with this like the voice oh. it's like albums you never remove ever again after you put them back so, there's this, the photo book, obviously, and there's the case. As for Bad Boy as a title track, I honestly don't get the, like, what's the fuss about, like, with Koreans. They seem to absolutely love it and call it, like, the best title track of Red Velvet ever. And I'm like, it's good. Like, of course, a Red Velvet title track is good. Like, that's, like, expected. Like, there is nothing wrong with it. But like, how is it up to the level of Russian Roulette or Peekaboo or I don't know, even Dum Dum? Like, I think those three are just so like above <laughs> the level. Like, like I don't know why I would you like? I mean, like, it starts off pretty great. Like the Hooded 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 Boy. I'm like, I love that part so much. And the Uhu or whatever part part is also great. This series book is so pretty. Oh my god. Usually I'm like, who cares about the lyrics book in these kind of packaging but this is probably my favorite. This is really pretty and look at them. Look at them. Oh, Ada, boy. Weird song. I love it. One of my favorites probably. We didn't talk about these songs in the video, but now I listened to it like a month ago, the last time I listened to this album, so I'm like, I can't talk about the songs now. I should have talked about them in the video. I mean, I like the album not as much as the red. Where is the tracklist? There's no tracklist here. No, oh, there's a card peeking out. Need to hide the card. So, so far I really like this part of it. To be honest, I was really surprised that they got a repackage because the last time SM did a girl group repackage was basically Hot Summer. Like, um, it's 2018 now, so seven years ago almost. Uh... So I love Peekaboo so much that probably, even if I like, but I never do with Bad Lava because I just pretty much buy the releases that they are released. But you know, if I would have, like, ended up buying the album after the repackage of Woody's as well, I would have gotten the first one as well, because uh, Peekaboo is just amazing and perfection. Although the who the who the who the boys, like, alone, that's part of it more than many groups' songs, so, like, that's so cool, I love it. Plus, they look great in the MV. And it's nice that they can try out a bit different concept. I mean, when are we getting those, rid of those bangs? I mean, I guess when they grow back properly, I mean, it's not that short now, I think. But it's still too short. Like, look at Wendy. She just looks like a normal person with those bangs. And then they ruin my Sugi's hair. Although she looks like so... Like, she looks so great in this concept. Like, not just because she's my vice, but I think it's really her era. Like. She's just really comfortable in this concept as well, but again, Sugi is like comfortable everywhere, <laughs> like in, in Red Velvet's concept, so like, she's just always a constant, like, very good, nice level, you, you just never get disappointed in Sugi, she's gonna deliver dancing, singing, everything, so that's what Sugi is, and that's what I love about her. That's funny, oh my god, poor, oh, sheep, like, how do you call baby sheep? Oh my god, oh my god. I love these photos. They are um, they are not really blurry, like it it is like artsy. It's focused on their faces, it's just blurry around. So I'm okay with that kind of blurry. Wendy looks great there. Oh my god. Whoa, like 
bit too much light, but I think it works with this photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, it's adorable on that one. That's cool. I, I don't know how it, how I feel about these pictures because you know you can see them properly, but it suits the concept so much, and it's not like they are overpowering the other pictures. So I'm fine with those. Like this is like a great photo book. Um, that's a bit too blurry. Of joy. Like, this is a pretty great photo book. Whoa! I've been looking great there. <laughs> this Sylvia, of course. Blue looking great. Um, yeah, like that. It's kind of weird because, like, that's like a big Yeti picture, and there is a tiny silky picture on the Yeti. That is a bit strange. Hey, Wendy. I mean, one of the things that I like about this factoring is at least that it's really easy to handle the photo book. I mean, yeah, not giant, huge big pictures, but SM is usually the type of company that gets too artsy. So even if you get a big photo book, half of the pictures are blurry, or like half of the pages cut off, so like they are very weird sometimes. So I don't mind that it's tiny, at least I can like, that, that, where was that picture? Oh, that one, because I think we didn't say anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> How do you are so young? <laughs> oh my god. So. There is the ad, not personalized, upsetting SM. You can do a cover picture on the ad, it's not impossible. Got the genie code, and who's that card? That's not too okay. <sighs> I got Yeti again. Like, I was happy with her card the previous, like in the Perfect Velvet, but getting her in the album and the repackage, that is like. <laughs> So Yeti's card is up for trade for either of Sugi's. I love the back, like look at that design. It's so great. I love the concept and they look amazing on the cover, so don't get me wrong on that. I'm just like a bit confused about the craze about the song in a way that peekaboo and then the boy like you know it's not much difference but yeah. For me at least. I mean I guess like it just I don't know. I like it because it's a red velvet song and it's obviously great. Like, I love happiness to do an ice cream cake. I just don't listen to those much anymore. So I guess I would rank it with those. But like, I don't know. I like it. Probably I'm gonna get more into it. Like, like at a random week in the future, I'm gonna be like, ooh, who the who the who the boy. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. And I think I'm just gonna put back the album after the video. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and. Bye!